It's William Haig, former Foreign Secretary, talking about information, security and privacy. Well, a couple of things. I've been talking about the great importance of this industry, and I could see that in government. I could see some of the, the cyber attacks against leading British companies, and we were really trying to wake them up to the importance of that. I think industry is now really heavily engaged in this, but they will need to keep up every day with, with mutating and developing forms of, of hacking uh, attack and cyber attack. So I've been talking about my experience of that as Foreign Secretary, but I've also been talking about the balance between privacy and security. You know, in Apple against FBI, what is the right answer? And I'm saying there are really strong arguments on both sides of that. But in the end, in my view, we can't have an absolute right to keep things private and secret. In a world where we have to enforce the law, we have to find the criminal network or the terrorist cell. That means, in the end, parliaments and governments and the public are going to insist on the ability to do so. And I'm saying that uh, tech companies and others should prepare themselves for it ending up in that place. Well, I, th I think it's very important, as I'm sure so many people in this industry appreciate, that this is not just about systems and technology, although that's very important. It's also about how individuals operate in every company. So many breaches of information security are about human error rather than about a system going wrong. And that requires a culture, it requires peer pressure, an esprit de corps within a company. Uh, to not be the one who lets the side down, to implement procedures properly, to understand the importance of information security. And so this requires training and culture as much as it requires um, highly advanced technology. So I hope this industry can really emphasize that and emphasize working in partnership with government. Because although there are the important questions of does an individual's rights, are they more important than the rights of the state, Actually, on most issues, the state and the individual have the same interests in keeping each other secure. Uh, and so we must emphasize partnership in dealing with these matters. I think over the next 12 months, this will become an even more prominent issue among the public and among, the, among companies, how to maintain their information security. Because unfortunately, I think that the, the trend, the escalating trend, uh, to attacks on that security uh, means there will be more and more high-profile issues and I think there will be more parliamentary and legal debate about how we, about whether such attacks have to be disclosed in all cases um, and about how we maintain the security of the country in an age of growing encryption. So watch this space for I think a lot more debate on these issues.